All right, guys, so we got to beat up on a weak conservative Republican governor today, okay? And uh, this time we have Mr. Spencer Cox, who is the governor of Utah. And uh, Utah is currently undergoing a debate about um, transgender athletes and their participation in sports, right? Should biological men be allowed to compete against biological women and vice versa, okay? And uh, yeah, as expected in all these debates that are going on across the country, uh, you have the Democrats that are just going all in on this, like, <laughs> I really don't know what it is. They're going all in on biological men can compete against biological women. Kids can castrate themselves. You know, you just can teach whatever type of sexual education you want in kindergarten. Like, uh, they're going all in, <laughs> right, on a lot of this stuff, okay? And during a time like this, when Democrats are going all in on this, it is important for uh, conservative slash Republican legislators and governors to push back against this stuff, okay? Because if you give the left an inch, they will most certainly take a mile, okay? But uh, this guy, Mr. Uh, Spencer Cox here, uh, drops the ball as he actually came out and said that he's going to veto an outright ban on uh, transgender uh, women competing against biological women uh, after the state legislator basically reneged on doing a compromise at the last minute in favor of an all-out ban. So we're going to talk about it today. But before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know if you like my channel, you like my commentary, and you want to support my channel, my commentary, you can do so using the links in the description below. You can support the Patreon, you can support the PayPal, you can support the merch. There are multiple ways to support the channel if you would like to do so, including getting yourself one of my signature racist mugs, which is a daily reminder of the 2022 definition of racist according to the left, which is anybody that disagrees with the Democrat Party. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get into this news clip about what's going on in Utah with the transgender athletes in sports debate. Take a look. Well, a last minute bill on transgender student athletes upended the final hours of the 2022 legislative session last the, night. The bill rocketed through the House and Senate, sparking some heated debate. But Governor Spencer Cox is threatening a veto. Fox 13's Ben Winslow has more from the Capitol. The 2022 legislative session ended with a surprise vote on the bill, but Governor Spencer Cox tells Fox 13 News he'll veto it the second it hits his desk. Listening to our humanity be debated there by a lot of statements that made it evident that there are people who don't have any real understanding of transgender people. Sue Robbins was a guest of Democratic senators on the floor when House Bill 11 came up for debate. Sets up a commission that can evaluate, that is intended to evaluate the physiologic characteristics of a transgender athlete. Under a compromise pushed by the governor, the commission would stay, but transgender students wouldn't have physical characteristics scrutinized to play school sports. But then Senator Dan McKay proposed a substitute. Have a ban in place. The bill would default back to the commission if Utah gets sued and the courts rule against the state. I think that this is an effective policy to put a pin in this debate and, and leave it there before we see a lot of uptake in, uh, in transgender females participating in sports. It sparked a heated debate. The problem is unfair competition is unfair competition. These kids who just want to be normal who just want to be loved, who just want to be seen, who just want to live. It passed the Senate. It is not compassionate to do nothing. The House went along with the changes. The governor promised an immediate veto. I thought we had the, the at least the, the, the bones of a deal. Um, and then th this, uh, this, uh, this whole idea of a complete ban, we, we never talked about it. It was never debated. It just came up at the very last minute. Social conservative groups have been lobbying for a ban and say it came together quickly. And how could he veto something that lets girls play sports and, and, and have a fair, fair chance? No, nobody has an advantage based on what... what uh, sex they are. The bill was the subject of protest. The LGBTQ rights group Equality Utah says legislation like this will harm already vulnerable children. This is not a process that is the Utah way. This is not how you bring communities together to find proper solutions. In an interview with Fox 13 News, the governor had a message for transgender children in Utah. I want to say that we, we love you. Um, 
we care deeply about you. We need you to be okay, and, and we want to help you in any way possible. The House and Senate did not get enough votes for a veto override, but you can expect this bill to return next year. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah. Guys, you know, I love how certain people on the left side of this debate uh, love to use, like, religious symbolism, right, and religion as, like, a, a, an argument, as a talking point to support their side of this debate and this argument. And I'm just like, eh, have you guys, like, actually really read the Bible, right? If you actually really read the Bible, uh, I'm not sure how you can use the Bible to justify your stance here. I mean, for example, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. It says, a woman must not wear men's clothing, nor a man wear a woman's clothing, for the Lord your God detests anybody who does this. Now, don't shoot the messenger, right? I'm just the messenger. I'm just saying, when you're pulling up here, talking about religion and what's in the Bible and all this other stuff, uh, you better come with some receipts, okay? Because I think it's very, very, very clear in the Bible how, at least the God of the Bible, right, uh, feels about this right i think it's very 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 clear okay I'm, I'm just saying i'm just keeping it 100 i just find it interesting how you know people want to use religion in in a debate like this right when it's very clear uh which side of the debate <laughs> the religion that they're trying to use to support their argument aligns with i mean it's just that's just what it is if you just open up the book and read it again don't shoot the messenger i'm just saying i'm just keeping it 100 now, here's the thing. As far as this governor, um, this guy is weak, okay? Because in my opinion, there really is no compromise when it comes to this issue, okay? It, it, it's really simple. Transgender athletes compete among themselves or they com compete based off their biological sex. There, there is no other compromise, right? That, that is the compromise. That is the fair and just way to conduct sports, right? That, that's just what it is. That's just what it is. And this guy right here, he, he's folding to people boohooing and crying on uh, the legislative floor about this issue, acting like, you know, their rights are being taken away. And it's like, no, no, your right to participate in sport is not being taken away. Your right to unfairly participate in a sport is being taken away, right? You don't, you don't have the right to unfairly uh, participate in a sport. But again, this issue is always framed from the left as if transgender people can't participate in sport. No, you can't. You just got to compete based off your biological sex. This is why I don't even try to participate in the whole gender versus sex argument. I'm just like, no, no, no. I'm not going to go back and forth with the left about what the definition of gender is. Okay? They can have it if they want it. I'm just going to say this. We got to organize our society around sex. Right? Because we're not changing the definition of sex. Okay? Just organize society based off sex. That way you don't get caught up in the semantics argument about what is gender. Right? I, and I think that's just kind of how it should be for sports. Okay, that's just how it should be. It should be based off sex. You can identify as whatever you want to identify as, but you got to compete based off your sex. Period. Period. Right? So, look, my thing is this. This is an easy issue. Right? This is an easy layup. Okay? This guy drives to the lane, right? And he just misses a layup. He just misses. All you got to do is just say, look, it's unfair. And this is an issue that, although right now it's not really a big issue, it will be in the future. Because a lot of these kids, man, they're participating in this stuff because it's the cool thing to do, right? It's cool now to, you know, have multiple genders and, you know, do this and do that. Like, that's the cool thing to do in high school now, right? That That's what kids are getting into. So it, it is going to be a problem. And when you got athletes like Leia Thomas up here, who's basically trying to be the Jackie Robinson of transgender athletes then what happens is that you're going to have these people uh be put to the forefront of society and a lot of kids are going to see that and they're going to want to emulate that right a lot of these kids are going to say hey i might not be good at my sport as a boy okay competing against other boys biological males but hey if i go compete against these girls because society says it's cool to do that i can dominate i can break records i can have my name on the school hall of fame wall for the rest of my life right i can be in a trophy case okay I'm just saying, it, it might not necessarily be a big issue now for Utah, but it doesn't mean that it won't in the future because I'm telling you, this stuff is becoming trendy and popular among kids. It's the cool thing to do. Now, hopefully most of them grow out of it, but for the most part, I mean, who knows? I'm just saying, you nip the problem in the bud before it becomes a problem. You don't wait till it becomes a problem and then act on it. You act on it before it becomes a problem because it's clearly going to become a problem, okay? 
So again, this is just, you know, flat out weakness right here from this governor. And he just he just sound weak. He just look weak. You know, I, I I can't really stand guys like this. Okay, this is easy, right? This is easy. Okay. You just simply say no, right? No. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.